could be a V-lock, who knows? It's the first day of the year. You're still alive and survive New Year's Eve. Hopefully you made some resolutions and they were realistic because one thing I've learned about this project I've been on rebuilding this wooden home, restoring this wooden home, you got to set small goals. Small goals that lead to big goals. Because it's such a massive project for me, for one person, you can easily get overwhelmed and, and discouraged and then your morale drops and it really sucks when it should be a fun thing to do and, and to make it so you got to set small goals and you easily achieve those and you feel good about it and you're working towards a larger goal and like my mom says if you get a piece of paper and write these goals down and on paper so you can look at them from time to time your small goals will lead to large goals long-term goals short short-term goals to long-term goals you can really get a feel for how you're progressing and you can really uh, reach some of the pentacles you want to reach, reach the destination you want to reach. So in my case, I just started scaling down my what I wanted to accomplish in a day's time and it didn't look so bad if I just said, hey, I need to redeck the whole roof and put a new roof on it and that's how I look at it. Wow, that's overwhelming. But if I say, hey, today I want to strip off a quarter of the old shingles and I, I feel I've done well, you can accomplish that. And then you see you're, you're taking bites out of the, the larger piece of work, okay? So hopefully you're making these goals and hopefully one of these goals this year that you're going to make is to try to get some information out to the public. And that's briefly what I want to talk about is if you've awakened from the matrix and You've learned a lot of what's really going on, not what's on mainstream TV. Like I say, you're out of the matrix. Your job, your duty then is to relay this information to the public at large. And I'll never forget a comment made by the gentleman that runs chemtrailplanets.net. And I'll leave you a link to that because it's a great website. Harold Save, he once said that it's like selling magazines door to door. If you knock on a door and you're trying to sell them a magazine and they look at you and they appear disinterested, don't waste any time trying to convince them. Move to the next house, knock on that door. Maybe that guy shows interest. And this is how you do it. If their eyes glaze over, if they appear uncooperative or uninterested or apathetic and don't want to get involved, move on to the next person. Don't waste your time, you know. You don't even know if that person could be a shill or a troll if you're online. You don't know who these people are. So pretend you're selling magazines, move to the next person. and. It helps if you provide documented proof of your assertion. That's one of the compliments I got from Michael C. Rupert on my book, is he, he said that I carefully document my assertions, and I do. So when I tell you that thousands and thousands of our veterans are suing the Pentagon, DOD, and CIA for bizarre experimentation, including planting septal implants up their nose in an effort to quote unquote control human will and behavior, I document that, you know? But if their eyes glaze over and they look like they don't want to hear it, I'm on to the next person now. You know, same goes for the plume gate and all my documented evidence there. You give them the documented evidence, tell them we got a damn serious problem. They either take the bait and bite and look into it and they're interested and want to help, or they don't. You move on to the next person. So that's a bit of advice I'm going to give you, also along with small goals leading to large goals, right? And that way you don't get discouraged. So. Let's hope in 2016 there won't be a false flag by Obama and he's not going to take over as president and institute martial law. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I know we got a sham of election and I've been predicting Hillary Clinton's going to be the next president. I feel she was selected years ago to take the presidency in 2016. So we'll see how that turns out. But that's based on a similar uh, series of events like when Ron Paul ran. And everybody was interested in Ron Paul, but then the Republican Party didn't give him the nomination, and you had Romney, who was a total loser, and nobody really wanted Romney, and that's how Obama swept the uh, presidency and got the presidency. So I feel the same thing's going with Donald Trump. The Republican Party's never going to nominate him. doesn't matter how many people are crazy about Trump, and I'm not endorsing Trump or his policies by saying this. I'm just giving you an example. So if they don't give him the Republican nod, make him the presidential candidate for the Republicans. Well, you got somebody else who's not going to be able to stand up to Hillary Clinton when it comes to the vote, and thus she's a shoe-in for the presidency. And that's how they work things. I really believe this is a huge theatrical uh, performance going on right now with the 
2016 election and the run up to the election. They all know who's going to be the next president, and it's not Jeb, it's Hillary. But however, I will say this, and again, I do feel Jeb is slated to be president in the future. He's already been selected. Whether Hillary will serve one term and Jeb will take the next presidency, I don't know. Or if he's got to wait two more terms to get in there, but this is how they work it. And we've had the dynasty of the Clintons and the Bushes long enough, in my opinion. You know, I don't want a Kennedy dynasty, you know. I want poor people in office, not rich people. It's not about what you know, it's about are you an honest person or not, and do you care about the American public at large over the corporations and the consolidated wealth and the these elite super rich types, you know. So if you look at this election right now, it's more the same. Just a lot of rich people running for office that they don't have the concerns of the small guy, trust me on that, but the American public is completely fooled into voting for these people every time, every election. There's another multimillionaire, a group of multimillionaires running for office, and uh, the public takes the bait every time and keeps voting for these people. And I don't know that any third party candidate's any better because I haven't heard any of those people talking about what I talk about. In fact, I'll link you to my article I wrote if I was president some of the measures and steps I would take and things I would bring attention to and when you look at my list of about 40 45 things nobody's talking about these things nobody and that tells me we're being taxed and we're not being represented and it tells me the next president's not it's kicking the can on down the road he won't even talk about the nuclear crisis if you don't think there's a nuclear crisis you obviously haven't read my book yet because it's in their own words how bad it really is you know all right, folks, I want to keep this one short, and i got to feed my cats and get back home, but I hope you have a great new year, and peace and love to all of you. Take care of yourself. This is Patrick Penry, over and out.